Hello, my name is Graham Rowan, and this is the FPS 1000 high frame rate video camera. This project started about a year ago when I saw some amazing um, still photography shot with a still high speed camera. It seemed amazing these objects were frozen in time and it really appealed to me creatively and technically. When I looked into it, there seemed to be very specialist setups. Obviously, you take a lot of time setting the equipment up, you have to time a flash with the action and it was something that's probably out of the reach of most people in terms of complexity. So that led me on to looking at high-speed continuous video photography and that seemed to me completely amazing that you could actually take continuous still frames effectively and freeze things in time. And looking at the equipment that could do that, um, they were very expensive, very bulky and typically had only a few seconds of uh, video timing because after all, 1,000 frames a second, it takes about half a gigabyte of memory to store one second of information. So with the onset of portable devices like phones and tablets, the uh, flash memory market was becoming very competitive in terms of speed and cost. And I set about trying to design a memory system that was cheap and had the, the capacity. So that really is where the design started from. And then surrounding that with uh, programmable logic, um, very high speed components, I came up with a design that was low cost and had enough memory on board to store a minute or more of, of, of video memory. This is the full production board. It's the high resolution sensor, available in black and white or colour. On the other side is the flash memory, the high speed controller and the ARM processor chip, which is all accessible to the user. There's the micro SD card slot and the USB and the built-in LCD display. So this is the assembled camera in its case. It's low cost. It's capable of around 850 frames per second at VGA resolution. Okay, the camera has a standard C-mount lens fitting and is supplied with a 50mm f1.4 lens. As the C-mount is such a popular fitting on the market, you can buy adapters for most other lens types. So this is an EOS, a Canon EOS to C-mount fitting and allows you to use a standard EOS lens. The camera is powered from an external 5 volt supply, such as this low cost phone charger battery, and that will power the camera for at least three hours. The product now is completely developed. I've produced pre-production boards, and now I'm ready for mass production. This is where I need help from Kickstarter. I need to build enough boards now to be able to buy the components very cheaply and to be able to mass produce them and offer them at such a low price. 